Hi, this is Montana at Howerton Performance. Um, I get a lot of questions on how to uh, how to crimp or or make battery cable or whatever, um, and a lot of people uh, kind of have a misconception on the proper way to make battery cables, um, and there there are lots of ways to do it, but to me. Uh, there, there's one way that works really, really well and isn't that expensive. So that's what I'm going to show today. Um, I use these hydraulic crimpers. Um, I bought these off of Amazon. They were like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and they actually work really well. Um, I mean, basically my only complaint is that the knob is labeled wrong. Um, if you turn it to on, um, turn it to on that actually releases the press and if you turn it to off that's actually as you can see now it's actually pressing I mean that's basically my only complaint and then sometimes you have to really twist it good anyways um, a lot of people will actually solder these they will use a torch and get some solder and fill this up with solder put it down in here um, to me, that's really, that's asking for a cold solder joint. I mean, by the time you put this down in there, it's going to cool too fast. Um, that's just asking for trouble. Um, this, if done properly, um, from what I understand, at least, uh, it actually creates a cold weld, a cold weld joint. So basically when you get done, the copper lug is actually welded to the um, copper inside of the battery cable. And I mean, just creates a, a superior connection. So, um, <clears throat> and then you're also going to want some good battery or some good cable cutters. These are super, super sharp. Um, once again, I bought these off of Amazon. I think they were like 10 bucks or something like that. Work really, really well super sharp um but yeah and then basically how i do it is um measure uh get you know get the approximate length that we need to strip you can strip a little bit extra but i try to get it pretty close and then i actually use these and just don't don't crimp you know don't uh, uh really bite down hard on it just uh just enough and then twist it and that'll actually cut that cable as you can see um, once again I mean these things are, are super sharp so once you're through the cable you can kind of once again open these up just a little bit and pull on them it's kind of hard to do it on camera pull on it a little bit and there you go it's coming off um, I've had these for a while so they're not as sharp as they were this is one gauge cable um, and um, this lug is actually just a tad bit tad bit too small but it'll work um, But I'm just going to get that in there. Sorry, once again, it's kind of hard to show it off. Or sorry, I mean on camera, this part. <clears throat> but you're just going to get, get it in there. As you can see, I did strip it just a little bit longer than needed, but but it is in there. And then, um, this actually comes with different dies. Um, I usually end up using dies that are actually just a, a tiny bit smaller than what they're supposed to be. Um, and, uh, and it really, I mean, it crimps down super, super tight. Um, I probably don't 
don't do it exactly how the manufacturer recommends or how they say in their instructions, but it does a super, super good crimp. Okay, so basically I just have that in there. I have it started. Um, and then it's going to start pumping the press and it, it's getting super tight. Oh, man. And I mean, this is like, I, I would have to go back and look, but this is actually like several tons of force that it exerts on this. And as you can see, um, my die was just a tiny bit too small, but that really doesn't bother me. Um, I mean, that is not going to come off of there. That is, like I said, I mean, if, if done properly like this, uh, it actually exerts so much force on all of this copper that it actually ends up doing a cold weld. So, and then, and then um, you're just going to slip heat shrink up on the end of it, like I've done over here. Slip heat shrink up and heat shrink it. And I mean, this is, uh, as you can see, that's pretty much the final result that you get. And you know, I mean, th this does take a little bit of trial and error, but um, so for example, I should have stripped that just a little bit shorter um, but yeah, I mean, to me, this is the superior way of, of, um, making battery cables and, and really the, the best way to do it. Um, you know, they, they make, they make the, uh, the dies or crimpers or whatever that you put in there and you hit with a hammer, they work, um, once again, people will solder these. I mean, that works technically, you know, all that stuff works, but something like this, it's not that expensive. It's just about as expensive as the ones that you hit with a hammer. And I mean, it ends up creating a really, really good crimp. So, um, Everybody like the video, uh, give us a subscribe so that you can continue seeing uh, race car related wiring videos. And uh, thank you.